you ever wondered, have you ever suspected that perhaps the help desk guys are making fun of you? When you call them up, are they using some terms that don't seem to really relate to your particular problem? But all the guys on the other end of the line seem to be clued in to what it means. Well, then perhaps they're making a little bit of fun at your expense. Look out for these terms. So, for example, if they say that we've got another BFU on the line, well, that might mean that they think you're a brain-free user. Now, a brain-free user or a BFO, as it's sometimes referred to, so BFO is what you want to be listening for, or you might be wanting to use if you are newly on a help desk crew, is just one of several TLAs. Now, you all know what a TLA is, right? A TLA, of course, is a three-letter acronym. Get, get it? TLA, three-letter three acronym? If a help desk person refers to the fact that they may have an IBM error, that may not be a problem with the International Business Machines equipment, but rather the fact that they happen to have an idiot behind the machine. Now, you do not want to be an IBM or an idiot behind the machine. Therefore, you should probably RTFM. RTFM, of course, meaning read the blank manual. Okay, so if you, someone tells you to RTFM, you know that they are telling you that you can just go look it up. Why didn't you look it up? You want me to Google that for you? RTFM, and you will also not be an ID10T. So ID10T is the way you'll see this pronounced. It basically means you're an idiot. Okay, The Navy might pronounce that as ID10Tango. And my friends who have been in the Army tell me that this might be pronounced as, or written and pronounced, as one delta ten tango. So a one delta ten tango means that uh, might be a little bit of a user error. A layer eight error is something our networking folks will often refer to to mean that the user is screwing up once again. And this is because our networking folks are often thinking about different layers and they think about the OSI model, which has seven layers and that eighth layer being the user. One of my favorites is PEBCAC. We have a PEBCAC issue or PEBCAC problem. That means that the problem exists between the keyboard and the chair, that, that little space right, right, right in here somewhere. You see different variations of this. So PEBMAC might mean the problem exists between the monitor and the chair. Uh, Pobe cake, I believe this might be pronounced and its problem occurs between chair and keyboard. You see other variations, the error between the keyboard and chair, a problem exists between user and keyboard, so forth and so on. And another one of my favorites is it might be just a picnic. This might be a picnic of a problem. Doesn't mean it's an easy problem. It means that the problem is in the chair, not in the computer. Now, making fun of users is not something that's isolated to us folks in the U.S. This is a worldwide phenomenon we're talking about here. And if we were to talk with our Danish friends, they might be referring to uh, their users as having an error 40. That's referring to the 40 centimeters between the computer and the user. Okay, somewhere in there is when the, where the error is going on. I'm not going to be an ID10T and actually try to pronounce these uh, in different languages here, but uh, Canadians might refer to a code 18, once again referring to that 18 inches between the uh, computer and the user. The folks in Sweden might refer to it as an SBS problem or something behind the levers. Okay, there's something behind the levers there. Our friends in France might have ICC problems. Okay, a keyboard chair interface problem. And folks in Brazil might call in to the help desk and have BIOS problems. Basically, translates into dumb idiot operating the system. 
So these are just some of the ways that help desk folks kind of relieve their tension a little bit when they get those calls from us users who get a little confused and are wondering where that any key is that we're supposed to press. So if you are wondering, and you, if, is the help desk guy making fun of you, and you don't even hear any of these terms I've just used, well, trust your instincts, because it's probably true. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe below. I try to do more technical videos and tutorials uh, on most Tuesdays. I thought it might be just a little bit of fun to do something different today. Thanks so much for joining me.